Hey Pisces, welcome and welcome back to another reading. We're going to see what spirit has for you today. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. It was just a different person. Um, but I'm back, you guys. Thank you for being here. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. That's a great way to support the channel, guys. Anything you need to know is below in the description box. We have Pisces Apparel. And, you know, I'm just a dope-ass chick, so check me out, okay? Um, it would be great if you could subscribe. It would be great if you guys could hit the like button, share the video, okay? Sit back, relax, get comfortable, get whatever messages you need. And don't take anything with you that don't doesn't belong, okay? These are collective readings. Every message may not be for you. And I might say something that has nothing to do with your situation, but creates a chime of sorts in your own brain to give you a message that you need to hear okay so what are the messages for pisces at this time y'all excuse me i am nasally as fuck i'm getting over something and it's really been putting a crimp in my flat iron okay so what are the messages spirit for pisces at this time guardian angels archangels spirit guides and ancestors follow my god for pisces okay now this is the moonology deck okay and the first card that came out is conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse maybe check to see when the last full moon eclipse was and i feel like the conclusion that is within reach is for whatever situation you were dealing with at that time okay what else are the messages for Pisces at this time, Spirit? Let's get ready to draw the cards. Okay. Nothing is yet set in stone. You know, I think I've always been reading it wrong. I think I've been reading this like nothing is set in stone, but... It looks totally different. Okay, so let me tell you. What is it called? What is it called? I mean, it's like when you it's like when you timeline jump, right? Where it feels like you timeline jump and then people have memories of food products or world events or celebrities that are different from your memory of the situation. I can't remember what that's called. It's like a name for it. If y'all know what I'm talking about, put a brain in the chat or put the name of it. I know y'all are going to tell me, but it's uh like when someone who's on the same timeline in reality as, as you meets up with you and y'all have recollections or memories of the past in different ways. That's how I just felt with this card. Like I felt like this card, I've seen this card hundreds of times, but I feel like this card was written differently. It says nothing is yet set in stone. But I feel like what I remember is nothing is set in stone. Like that's what I feel like I remember. So you may remember things in history in your life differently than other people around you. I don't know. Um that's interesting. But definitely conclusions are within reach and there's a conclusion about something that happened during a full moon eclipse. Um, that is within reach. Okay, something that happened during a full moon eclipse. I don't know if you were even alive during that time when it was, whatever, but something is going to be concluded from it. It says a win-win outcome is forecast. Okay, so there's definitely something that is going to be successful, Pisces, balanced, full moon in Libra. There's something that's going to be balanced that you are not aware of yet. This is a situation where you feel that the outcome may be a certain way, but it's actually going to be possibly very different than what you expect and in a good way. That's what I feel because nothing is set in stone. You may think something is, oh, it's just this is how it's going to be. Man, I'll be doing the same shit and I'll be trying so hard not to think like that. But it's like we've been conditioned for centuries to only believe what we see.
And you know they have that saying, believe none of what you hear and only half of what you see. I definitely feel that in a way where there are a lot of illusions and you should not believe a lot of the things that people say. Um, you also should only take what you see with a grain of salt because there's probably more that you're not seeing. I never thought of it the other way, though. I just thought about it like what you're seeing may be fake. But the other side of it could be like what you're seeing is only a part or a portion of it. Okay. It's definitely about the Matrix. Not the movie, but like our reality. Um, at the bottom, we have take a t <laughs> bitch. Take time to breathe out and look at the bigger picture, okay? So I definitely feel like Spirit wants you to look at life like the Matrix. Like, literally imagine seeing the zeros and the ones floating up and down your walls like Neo did. Like, what can you see past that? Can you see through walls, Pisces? I think you can. Because I can see my outside, like, of my house. In my mind's eye. So that means you can see through walls. I don't know what this reading is about. But let's continue. Very interesting. There's definitely something that is about to be concluded. Or there's about to be a. Focal point that you reach. Okay. A milestone that you reach Pisces. That is unexpected. Or it may be unexpected for others. Around you. But. You're about to win either way. Win. Win, 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 win. Okay? And this is the Modern Love Tarot, I think it's called. Modern Love Tarot. All right, so what are the messages, Spirit, for Pisces? What are the messages for Pisces? I saw the Empress. Okay, and we have the Six of Pentacles. All right, we also have the Two of Pentacles. Can I get one more card? For Pisces. Wow, this deck is so big and I haven't used it in a long time. Gee. What is the message for Pisces? Oh, wow. Death. Okay. Six of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Death card. The Hermit is at the bottom and then the Magician. Jeez. Okay, so whatever you've been manifesting, um, whatever you've been meditating about is about to manifest, okay? Pisces, I definitely feel like there is observation or you, you're making an observation. You're pointing something out to someone or some group of people or you're making an observation within yourself. It's like, and then you're, it's like you're seeing what you can create. It's like, you're looking at everything that you've observed or you're taking everything that you've observed over time, everything that you see, your reality, like looking out on your reality and you're, you're seeing what's been created, which allows you to imagine what you can create. That's what I feel. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Mm. I'm not even going to hide it. I'm a human bitch. So, um... I definitely feel like this two of pentacles is you like, like literally using your powers. Okay. Um, the six of pentacles. The more love you give, the more you earn. I don't know what this means, but that's what I feel with the six of pentacles. She's giving love. She's giving, I guess um coins or money finances um energy <coughs> the more you put your heart into something the more you'll earn the more that you are yourself the more you'll earn that's what i feel so there's about to be a transformation because i feel like you're about to start pouring more of your soul into something okay and it's going to help you earn more. Interesting. <coughs> All right. Here we go with the bullshit. Man, I've been drinking so much freaking ginseng tea and lemon and ginger. Oh, my God. It's ridiculous. 
Okay, and I've been, <laughs> so if you guys want to know what I've been doing on Thanksgiving break, it's really just like a little bit of cooking. Like I made spaghetti for everybody um, just in case like, you know, you know, cause you get tired of leftovers, like Thanksgiving leftovers and you be want to eat something different. So I made spaghetti before Thanksgiving. I made the deviled eggs for my friend's party. I made some like curry chicken stuff a few like days before. Um, so I've just really been cooking. I've been, um, I've been definitely going to celebrate with people a lot. So I have been out a little bit and I've been watching The Crown, catching up on that so I can catch up on the season that I missed. And then I've also been um, watching God of War live plays, like LPs. Do y'all watch LPs? Let me know in the comments if you watch LPs. And tell me what game. Ragnarok. Okay, let me stop. <laughs> I really do like God of War. Like, if I was skilled in any of those games, like, I, I am really skilled. Like, I can do anything. Pisces can do anything. Trust me. I was playing Grand Theft Auto and all those games. Like, I was playing hella games when I was a teenager. But, like, first of all, I don't have a PS5, and I really don't want to pay for it. But my son wants it. Nine of Cups. We're going to... We're going to wait till I'm done talking. Um, so somebody definitely wants to talk to you. I feel Pisces. Yeah. They're waiting until you get done talking or they are waiting for a chance to get in. Um, but yeah, like I'm going to have to break down and get that PS5 for my son because I'm waiting on it. I hope they don't cancel that Hogwarts game because of JK Rowling. And her cute them them accusing her of being uh transphobic. You know? I don't think it's any problem with trans people, LGBTQ, whatever. I just don't agree with the fact of people trying to force it down people's throats and force it down like kids' throats. I totally get it, but it's like, I don't know. I just feel like it shouldn't have to be forced down everyone's throat. Like if I say I'm a woman and I have a womb and I was technically cursed with a cycle my entire life. It's like trans people can't get mad at that because that's like truth. And I'm not saying that trans women are not women. I'm saying that like, it's just a different type of woman. And that's how I feel. So if I hurt any of you guys' feelings, I apologize. But, like, some people take it to extremes on both sides. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Um, but let's go ahead and see. I probably lost, like, 100 views from that, but whatever. Um, what's the Six of Pentacles? Oh, my God. So, that just goes to show you, okay, for the people who already know what's up, I'm not talking to you. This is for the skeptics and the people who always talk shit about how people read cards. Listen, fuck you, bro, okay? I'm gonna read the cards how I wanna fucking read the cards. And you just saw me put this Knight of Cups back in and you see it came back out. So this is a lesson. This is a lesson to you to shut the fuck up and stop telling people how to read their cards. Cause if it's meant to come out, it'll come out, okay? I can't stand people in the comments. They be like, oh, um, you shouldn't have put that card back. It was somebody in my comments one time. I wish I could edit this and put it on the screen right now, but I'm not going to do all that. Um, but it was like, well, you're asking spirit to give you messages, but then when the cards come out, you put them back. Yeah, bitch, because it's my channel. And I'm going to do it at one. I'm going to do it the way I want to do it. I'm going to do it the way my intuition tells me to do it. And if you don't like it, create your own channel, put in your email, and start uploading videos on your own. Bitch. Like... Like, dude, like, the fuck? Shit. Trying to tell me what I need to be doing. Don't watch then if you don't want to see what I'm doing. It's just like somebody watching an LP and watching somebody play a video game and then get mad how they play the game. Bitch, go buy the game. Shut the fuck up. Shit. Okay, let me. <laughs> I'm back, y'all. That was just a totally different person. 
you know, and sometimes they come out and they, you know, they just take over. So I don't fight it. I just let it cycle through me and keep going. So we have the Knight of Cups, you guys. I do feel like there's definitely someone expressing feelings here. Um, and then we have the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So I definitely feel like there's a conversation that's about to happen, Pisces. You guys are about to have a very important conversation. And I feel like this is a conversation that's going to open the door to a lot of possibilities of the future of like where things can go, what you can do. This may even be a contract that's being signed with the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Um, and there may have to be in order to reap the fruits of your labor, there may have to be some type of sacrifice or compromise that's going to be made. But I feel like it's definitely um, something to consider with nothing is yet set in stone. I feel like you may be considering this contract or considering um, this proposition that someone is making to you. I feel like someone is literally bringing you paperwork to sign. Um, and if not that, it could be a declaration of emotion or feelings that is kind of like opening up the door to possibilities of where a relationship could proceed, right? <sighs> so if somebody is telling you their feelings, it's like, hey, this is how I feel. And I want to know how you feel. This may be including an apology with the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Um, but hey, I want to know how you feel, Pisces, because this is how I feel. This is the truth. Um, this is what has been laid out and, and the reality of the situation, how do we move forward or what do we do to move forward? Or are you willing to move forward? That's what I feel. Okay. You know, see when I'm regular and I'm just talking to y'all regular, that's Casey, Casey Nicole, right? When I get real preachy and soapboxy and I start to get real ethereal with what I'm saying, that's Athena Monroe, okay? Athena Nicole Monroe. Now, we just call her Athena for short, but she comes out. That's like my higher self, kind of. And then, you know, because she's real preachy and she gets up on that soapbox and voice just be thundering. Um, why did I think of farts? But let me stop. <laughs> But then when those other voices come out, that's like, man, that's like some one of them is nutcase. Like the one who cusses y'all out, that's nutcase right there. Yeah, it just be like that, y'all. Okay, what's the six of pentacles? Can I get one more with this knight of cups and the six of pentacles? Okay, it seems like it was the seven of wands. Now, so if we think about this, right, it kind of looks like... um. It kind of looks like someone doesn't want to give everything away. Okay, the Nine of Cups and the Four of Swords. Okay. Mm. What's the Seven of Pentacles? I mean, Seven of Wands. What's the Seven of Wands? Okay, and look at the King of Wands coming out in reverse. What else is the Seven of Wands? Oh, bitch. Queen of Cups in reverse. Ooh. Um. So whatever this is, this conversation, this offer, whatever, um, this truth that's coming out, this contract that you may have to sign or whatever. Man, we're both trying to keep our cool. That's what I feel. I feel like someone is trying to express genuine feelings or give you something or show love or something like that and trying not to let the crazy come out kind of like in this reading with me um someone is trying not to let the crazy come out but i honestly feel like maybe the crazy would need to come out in order for the truth to be seen i don't know it kind of feels like be yourself um like i'm getting this vibe of like be yourself show your true personality if this is not about another person and this is just about you um living your life this definitely could be a situation where spirit just wants you to be yourself. And even if it seems like it might be crazy or outlandish or overly emotional or whatever, I feel like you're protected in this. Not to just act a fool, but to say what it is that you have to say. Okay. I feel like somebody's trying to get in. 
You may have to let them in or someone may want you to let them in. And you may not want to let them in because they may trigger you to be overly emotional or get really passionate. Or that may be how this person feels about you. Like you um, bring out like maybe the worst of them. I don't want to say that. I'm not saying it's the worst because I feel like that would be the devil. But I feel like you bring out something within someone that's really volatile that they may not know. It's like, it's not uncontrollable, but it's, they're controlling it. But it's like really like volatile. Okay. We have the four of wands and then we have the magician. Okay. But I feel like in order to get what it is that you want, you have to let this side of yourself out or this person has to let the side of themselves out. You get what I'm saying? So I feel like, listen, if you are like me and you have a channel or you do something online or you're creating a brand or a, 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 you're creating a product or something like that, I feel like you putting your entire crazy into it is what you have to do to make it succeed. Okay that's what I feel. I feel like that's what it is. And if this is a person, they may be coming towards you trying to tell you the truth and letting you know that like, Hey, I wasn't trying to let this side of me come out because the more emotional that I get about situations, the more volatile I get. And I didn't want to show you that side of me. That's what I feel. They like, they like sitting there like Pisces. I didn't want you to see these snap boogers coming out my toes. When I get like this, uh, I just feel, uh, I can't help it. Like, that's how they are. Like, okay, what's the two of pentacles? What is the two of pentacles for Pisces? Five of cups reversed. So someone in the comments told me um, what the five of cups reversed is. So shout out to you, homegrown. Let's go ahead and see what they said in the comment because I'm going to actually find it. Um, I don't know if I can. Let me see. Oh my God. I already put a heart on it so I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. Um, okay. Let's see. I really want to showcase this, but might not be able to find it. Um, it was a lot about the five of cups reversed. Shout out to you, homegrown. But let's go ahead and see. For me, the five of cups reversed is like being able to finally move forward from something that you regret or something that you're ashamed of. Um, finally being able to process the information and no longer letting it hold you back, right? This could be some regrets about what someone said or how they feel, like actually seeing that there are people who want to connect with you for who you really are. Like, it's like you're realizing that you have to be yourself in whatever it is that you're doing. You have to be yourself in this brand. You have to put yourself into this business. You have to put yourself into this product, into your music, okay? And shout out to all of y'all who are doing music, though. Sending me y'all's music, though. It is dope. So make it happen, my nigga, okay? But um, I feel like this is a situation where someone's like, I'm just going to be myself, like, unapologetically. But it's like they're worried about giving too much or they're worried about putting too much and get, getting carried away. They don't want to get carried away. This could be you. You don't want to get carried away, like, in a situation. Um, what's the Two of Pentacles? What else is the Two of Pentacles with the Five of Cups reversed? The Hierophant. We have to be proper. There's got to be a certain way that we do things because if not, what? Finish it. If not, if you if you don't do it the way it's supposed to be done, what's going to happen? You don't fucking know. That's what Spirit is trying to say. Spirit is trying to say you don't know what the fuck is going to happen if you don't do it the way that it's always been done. You might change something. You might put a crack in the matrix and let the shit shine through and almost take your eye out. Like Odin, bitch. No, I'm just playing. But yeah, it's like give, give it, give it all. 
He wants it all. And he says, love me. Love me with your whole heart. He wants it all today. Serve me. Serve me with your life now. He wants it all today. Bow down. Bitch. Let go of your idols. He wants it all today. He wants it all today. He wants it all today. So give it all. all, 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 all. <laughs> like a little kid. More of you. More of you. He wants it all today. Wait. <laughs> 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 He wants it all today. He wants it all today. So give it all today. You know, I feel like this is your power. Like your superpower is to do it your way. Right? And I feel like you're trying to do it the way other people have done it. And that's not working. There's definitely a lot about balance. You got the Six of Pentacles coming out a bunch of times. You got it twice. Well, we've seen it like three times right here. Balance. So one, two, three, four. Four cards about balance. Four cards about trying to keep it together, keep it leveled. I feel like something needs to be dropped. But... When I say something needs to be dropped, this is what I mean. You feel like you're giving just enough or just what needs to be given. Someone is giving just enough. But the more you give to a situation or the more you put into a situation, the more you invest, the more you're going to get out of it, okay? Okay. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that if someone is afraid to be their, themselves or afraid to let their emotions out, out of fear of like losing control, then you're only going to receive what you allow to be seen. Okay. You're only going to receive what you allow to be shown. So if it's you and this is just about your business or your career or your life, you're only going to get you're only going to get out of your life what you give to your life. So if you hesitate or if you do things that are like um, maybe towing the line or, you know, keeping up with the status quo or if you if you do things that are, you know, not like don't don't take it overboard. Don't go overboard. You know, keep it in the this, don't go in the deep end. If you stay in the shallow in life, life is going to be shallow. If you only, you know, try to scratch the surface, you're only going to see the surface. You're never going to be able to go any deeper. So that's kind of what I feel. The more you give, the more you exert, the more that you push, the more you're going to get. And I'm not saying like forcing things. I'm saying like pushing yourself, um, learning new things about yourself, getting out of your comfort zone. What's this higher thing? Four of Cups in reverse. Yeah. I definitely feel like this is a situation where either you or someone else is being made to feel uncomfortable by showing who you truly are. What else is the Hierophant with the Five of Cups reversed, Four of Cups reversed, the Nine of Pentacles? So, yeah. Getting out of a comfort zone and doing something on your own that may feel like you're doing too much, but that's what's going to help you to succeed. I feel like this change is going to help you win. It's going to help you get what it is that you want. Doing some, I feel like it's doing something your own way. You've been contemplating this. That's what you're contemplating because it's like, I don't know what you're thinking about that or, or what you were thinking about, but I feel like that's changing. It's like 
you're starting to see that holding yourself back or not letting your true personality out is going to stop you from getting as far as you want to be. And I feel like for what you've given with that six of pentacles and the justice card, what you've given, you've gotten justice for that. So if you've had some success with whatever it is that you're doing, or you've had some type of like forward progress with whatever it is that you're doing, it's because you let a certain part of yourself be shown. But there's so many facets of yourself that people don't get to see that I feel like spirit wants you guys to let them see. And I feel like that is what's going to propel you even further. Like the more you give to something, the more you're going to get out of it. Okay. But I feel like with this Queen of Cups reversed and the King of Cups reversed, it's like you don't want to be overreacting or you don't want people to take what you say the wrong way. You don't want to offend anybody. Man, fuck people. Folks are going to be offended. Some of y'all might be offended off the shit I say. Okay, be offended. That's fine. But a lot of people are afraid right now to say what's really going on. That Ace of Swords and that Page of Pentacles we saw. A lot of people are afraid to give the truth and tell the truth. Because they run from the truth. They rather just bury it. Let's just face it. Let's face it. Let's go into it. Let's face it. Let's look at that bitch in the eye with this ugly motherfucking unibrow and cockeyed eyeballs. And, and go. Like, bitch, some people have ugly faces. Some people are not aesthetically pleasing to all people. But apparently they're aesthetically pleasing to somebody because they're here. Right? genetically an ugly person would not be ugly if they didn't have ugly lineage or somebody like that ugly i'm just saying somebody liked it so i mean fuck the bullshit okay the lovers is here with the three of pentacles so i feel like this is a choice you have to make when it comes to your work i really feel like this is about you guys letting loose let that freak flag fly, bitch. Let that shit go, okay? People are going to want to work with you because you are who you are. You're an individual. See, everybody's trying to be tan and beige and taupe and be the same. But really, in reality, we all need to be different because we were all made by God in a different way. So if somebody want to be trans, lesbian, gay, straight, pan um poly whatever they want to be like cool be that but let people make their own choices about how they want to be okay and that includes all y'all who want equality for what you want to be that's fine if you want equality for what you want to be but you can't force it on other people because then you're not allowing other people to choose what they want to be you get what i'm saying it's a it's it's a it's a double standard, bitch. It's a double standard. I'm just saying. What's the death card? Oh, that was quick. Uh oh. <laughs> look, 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 y'all. He said. <coughs> okay, let me stop. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. So the devil with death, I feel like this is definitely a, a bunch of D words, um, but let's see. I think it's mostly about transformation. It's like, I feel like that's really letting that freak flag fly. Okay. I don't know. A lot of you could be exposing things that people don't want exposed. I don't know. Um. It feels like you have to, like, fully embody this change. Like, I be really wanting to come on live, like, with my uh, eyelashes half, excuse me, hanging off. Like, I was tempted to come on live with my eyelashes half hanging off and my bonnet on to just show y'all the real about what Thanksgiving looked like after the fact. But I really don't feel that good. And I'm not trying to be sniffing and blowing my nose all on live. So 
I'll definitely do it another time. I'm just, you know, I'm just going to be going live. How about that? And I'm not going to tell y'all, I'm not going to keep telling y'all what I'm about to do. But you know, I be doing that shit. You know, I be doing that shit. And I'm trying to make it better. Okay? What's the death card and the devil with his ugly, hairy ass? Two of cups. Okay? Because, you know, I can't be like nobody else. I can only be like myself. And it's so hard to be yourself sometimes. Um, two of cups, to me, is like talking a lot about changing. Talking a lot about it. What you want. Maybe what I was just doing. Mm. Not working on it. Focusing on it. Actually working on it, yeah. A lot of talking and not enough doing. Casey, get your shit together, bitch. Um, what's this devil? Can I get one for the devil? King of Cups. What's deep inside? What's in the mirror? I'm looking for the face in the mirror. Yeah, blend it together. Put it together. What's the two of cups? Yep, what's hidden? This is what it is. Revealing what's hidden. That's what this is. So a lot of you guys are about to have a win-win outcome um, in whatever situation that you're endeavoring upon right now because you have to let that freak out. You got to let that, you got to let that, you got to let that shit out, bro. You got to let it sound crazy. You got to let it sound like, I'm not saying like be something you're not. I'm saying let whatever you are come out. Let the real of whatever you are come out, bro. And I feel like you're going to have a big opportunity, but I feel like you're afraid of showing people the real you because everybody out here canceling folks for no reason because they in their feelings and everybody acting like a punk ass bitch, scared. They want to cancel people for saying, like, regular shit. And I'll be like, man, back in the 90s, people used to people used to grind on folks. Like, I don't even know what it would be called. Like, people used to roast folks. Like, like roast roast. Like, not one of these fake ass <laughs> roasts. Like, roast people. They used to, like, drill folks. Now you can't say nothing about nobody because everybody's so fucking sensitive. Bitch. Shut the fuck up. Sometimes you get bullied, bitch. Get over it. That's how y'all be in the comments, though. As soon as somebody tell you about yourself, you be like, ah, ah, let me report her video because I didn't like it. Let me report. Oh, well, guess what? You need a good, you need a good, um, a good, solid fuck in the ass. That's what you need to loosen up those bones. So I'm just saying. Maybe I'm just saying vulgar shit. But, I mean, listen. That's kind of what I feel. I feel like some of you guys are afraid of standing out and being different. Some of you guys are afraid of standing out and being different. And Spirit is telling you, look at the bigger picture. Because it's actually, that's what God wants. Or that's what the universe wants. They want you to stand out and be different. They want you to do what has not been done, you know, and let people see like the real you. Because then it might make people be okay with being the real them. Because let me tell you something, this cancel culture and we're going to cancel people for what they say. Listen. I have a bigger problem with what people do versus what people say. You can say whatever the fuck you want. You can say whatever the fuck you want in these comments. You can complain about my cursing. You can complain about me eating cough drops. You can complain about me coughing and snorting. You can complain about um, me not pronouncing words correctly. You can complain about how I read the cards and whether I put back cards. You can complain about whatever the fuck you want. That's what the comment section is for. But once you take it from the comments to like physically doing something to somebody that's when you need to sit your ass down but all these all this people getting mad at folks for like just saying things that they want to say yeah listen listen go eat a dick that's what you can do people should be able it's freedom of speech first amendment bitch people should be able to say whatever the fuck they want to say now when they go and take that and actually take violence against someone then that's a problem 
Like it was this lady I was watching this this uh TikTok video compilation, right? Where they had a recording of this lady talking about black people for, versus white people and the difference between black racism and white racism. Like black people are definitely racist against white people. We make fun of y'all all the time. Okay? But I mean, it's just mostly harmless jokes. Like ain't nobody going into fucking uh Orange County and blowing people's houses up, which I don't condone. That would be horrible because that's exactly against what I said. I mean, that's that you know, that's feeding exactly into what I'm against. But like you don't see that happening, but but you see white people coming into black neighborhoods trying to fuck with their life and like literally doing things that keep them in substandard living conditions because of your racism. So it's a difference, bitch. You get what I'm saying? Like, not all white people are racist. Not all black people are racist. But the difference between the racist black people and the racist white people is that the racist white people, racist, they're probably going to flag this video anyway, whatever. Um, but those those people, it's like they actually act on it and do things physically to hurt the other person. Like, get over yourself. You used to use our teeth for dentures and our hair for um, seat cushions and our skin for like burlap sacks or like bags, purses. You used to skin us. So get over yourself. Okay. Get the fuck over it. You literally used to feed our babies to alligators for bait so you can eat gator meat. So get over it. We might crack a few jokes about how you can't sit in the sun. You, are you that sensitive Caucasians? You know what I'm saying? But I mean, not all of you. I'm just talking about the racist ones, okay? Like, I mean, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? You gonna you gonna uh, 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 bomb my whole neighborhood that I've um, cultivated because you told me I couldn't live in your neighborhood? Oops, I forgot. They already did that with Black Wall Street. But you know, that's what I'm saying. What else does Pisces need to know? Not today, bitch. It says not dealing hurt, avoiding conversation, call person, boundaries, still angry. Okay. What else? Not today. Okay. Well, not today. Then. It says seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Interesting. So maybe you're not dealing with someone because of a third party. Mm, that could be why it could also um it could also be a situation where you're not dealing with someone because you you maybe you're attracted to them or they're not dealing with you because they're attracted to you okay i do feel like there is a secret that is about to come out or someone is going to let out a secret they want to talk about something or express their feelings that they have deep down inside I feel like there's deep attraction, there's sexual chemistry, and there's ferociousness and pharaonic situations with phalluses and F-words like fuck. Yeah. Sex. Dick pussy. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> YouTube is not going to let this shit fly, okay? Oh, bitch twin flame yin and yang zen balance union duality coupling complementing each other yeah yeah keys on a ring many options decisions unconventional string along one night stand interesting i don't know it just feels like somebody doesn't want to let you see like the the i don't know somebody doesn't want to let you see the like the demon side of them or you don't want somebody to see that side of you. I don't know. Freak. I just heard. <laughs> freak. Freak ho. Bounce that ass. Make the knees. Touch the elbows. Freak ho. <laughs> freak. Oh my god. Someone changes. Ooh, someone likes the way you change. So it's like, you know... What did, what did Ludacris say? I want a lady in the street, but a freak in the bed. I say, yeah, yeah. Shawty got down. I said, come and get me. 
I got so caught up in my lonely. I don't know the words to any song, bitch. Um, but yeah. Somebody sees you as a lady in the street, but a freak in the bed. I know there's not a bed right there, but I'm just saying, like, that's how I feel. That's how it feels. How does it feel? Whose playlist is this? Jesus. Let it out, though. Okay. What's the advice for Pisces? What is the advice? Relax. Change your perception and temptation. Change your perception about temptation. I don't, I don't know what that means. That's what the advice says. They say fucking relax. Okay? Take the broomstick handle out your ass. And just do what needs to be done. Stop being scary. I might get on I might get on live tonight too and just be coughing and sniffling and shit in y'all's face. Cause everybody don't always look put together. And I'm about to start showing y'all the real me. And if you don't like it, don't watch, bitch. Thank y'all for being here. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Remember, Pisces, I love y'all. This is our Circle Blues. Bye.